Are Atheists America's Most Hated Group? Shocking findings from new survey. The Pew Research Center recently published the results of a survey conducted in September 2022 to determine how Americans view different religious groups in the country. According to the Pew Research Center report, atheists are viewed unfavorably by 24% of the Americans surveyed, making them one of the least favorably viewed religious groups in the United States, or essentially belief-based groups. However, 72% of the surveyed atheists had a favorable view of their own group. Atheists are also more likely to view other religious groups negatively, including Muslims, Mormons, and evangelical Christians. Democrats are more likely to view atheists and Muslims positively, and Republicans had a more favorable view towards evangelicals and Catholics, not surprisingly. The report also revealed that Jews are the only religious group that is more likely to express positive than negative views towards atheists. Very interesting. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so this, how we, have, these... we have a Jewish atheist alliance going on here. The Jews are the only <laughs> ones that have our back. That sort of, the survey is... taught us that the Jews are the only ones that have our back. <laughs> is it because, what does he mean by Jews? Religious Jews or ethnic Jews? How they Religious defined Jews. a Jew is not clear according to the survey that I read. The research I have a report. Suspicion that, this is a because... difficult thing. You know, I have a suspicion that the reason why Jewish people are the most supportive of atheists is because they are atheists. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but because I think like maybe um, they have the most sec they are the most secular uh, group among all of these community. Kind of yeah. Yeah. So, you know, let me bring this up. <laughs> the so Judeo atheist is... plot, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Judeo atheism. Let's let's make that a thing. They were right um, all along. This is why <laughs> atheists are Zionists. No I'm kidding. Um, so there was a bunch of really interesting findings in this report. So if you click on some of the images that we embedded from Twitter, we can get a better look at some of the um, the data that was revealed. So this is looking at if in general the survey revealed that most americans have no response or no negative or excuse me no negative or positive view towards any religious group if they were asked mm -hmm. about religious groups do you have a favorable or unfavorable opinion about them most people the vast majority of people said i don't know or i don't have enough information to say but of the people who actually gave uh, an affirmative response. We can learn some more from this. So this figure is looking at, so if if an American holds an unfavorable view towards a group, if it's just one group, it's most likely to be atheist. Mm -hmm. If they hold unfavorable view towards two groups or more, that's what you see uh, on the, the right side of this figure, right? Mm -hmm. But out of everyone, atheists get it the worst. <laughs> Why are we still the we used to be second to last? No, no, we used to be last, but Muslims used to be second to last. No, things well, have changed. Um, if you hmm. this is a this this graph is asking a very specific kind of question. Can yeah, you yeah, go yeah, back to the okay. main article and I think we can see the overall result? So keep on scrolling. Uh, this one? Yes, right here. This one? That, yes. Oh wait, that's for the actual article. Oh, Wait, so um, one, in the show notes, one? I can pull it up myself. I put it in the show notes. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. Yes, exactly. Okay, so yeah. this is looking at the percentage of American adults who had a, you know, blank view of each of the following groups, right? Mm -hmm. What's important about this, though, is that um, does this include... Yeah. So what's interesting is that we oh, sorry actually. About that. Sorry about that. We are now it's actually Mormons that are at the bottom of the pile. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. We used to be at the bottom. Muslims used to be second last. Muslims have remained second last, but we have jumped up a little bit. We have, we defeated the Muslims. We passed them. <laughs> Yeah, we used to be. This is weird because 
okay, so maybe the other the other study maybe it's because there are different studies, right? So it's not fair to compare studies that are not the same source because this is Pew. The other study that I'm thinking was from UBC in in Canada, right? That study showed atheists to be below Muslims, mm -hmm. <coughs> and that study was closer to 9/11 than this. Mm. You would think that after time, Muslims would actually improve, and atheists. Yeah, you but I, mean? I I had a main, I had a big criticism of this survey though from Pew because I mean when you're talking about this, what the UBC findings versus these findings they probably ask different questions and we don't know what the methodology of the UBC findings were right but the methodology yeah. of this survey I don't love because based on the way they reported how they asked the question because how you ask the question is possibly the most important thing in some research um right. is they just ask them do you have a favorable or unfavorable uh, a favor somewhat favorable favorable don't know enough to say neither somewhat unfavorable or unfavorable view of these groups like on a likert scale and mm -hmm. when you're just asking someone do you have an unfavorable view of a different group most people probably aren't going to answer that because either they mm. say that's that's not socially desirable for me to say that or i don't know enough about the group to make that statement or they're going to say like i if someone asked me do you have an unfavorable gr view towards like muslims i'd be like well i have some criticisms but like, <laughs> the people that i interact with are great like so yeah, how do you answer a question i view a group unfavorably i don't like that question itself it should be more nuanced where they ask do you endorse certain statements about a group and then how they answer those yes or no to those statements would then be qu qu quantified to say to be objectively determined do you have favorable or unfavorable views not you self-reporting your own favorability do you see what i'm getting at like it's it's a flawed question it they're is, making they their own judgment each... sorry go ahead they cancel each other out though susie that's the whole point no what do you so, mean so let's say so it, what you're saying if it's true is true for all of them right yeah so if it's true for all of them, that, that shyness that you're talking about, right? It will still show the um, the ranking will still be correct. That's the, yeah, I, mean, that's I the don't theory, theory. I don't know if the question is really that yeah, so the percentage itself. So I, I okay, so you don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, let me explain it a little bit. Maybe the percentages are wrong based on what you're saying, okay? But the ranking would probably still be the same. Because what you're saying, if it's wrong, mm. it's wrong for all of them. Mm -hmm. And they and they should be wrong equally, I mean, in theory. So it's not like a random error, it's a systematic error. So it's an yeah. error in the, in the same direction. So because yeah. it's an error in the same direction, the ranking will still be correct. Anyways, let's go through this. Uh, let's go through the ranking, though. I, I am like surprised. Much more nuanced. Yeah, the UBC study was like that. The UBC study was like asking which one of these people you would be okay with your marry your ch child marry, like stuff like that. That was that's UBC what I'm getting at exactly. Right. So, but let's like look at the rankings now because I think I still think the rankings will still be correct. Um, yeah, I mean, it would be the same. Per Perhaps, right? I don't know. Unless unless people are shy about one of these groups more than the other ones, right? For example, people could be like more sensitive about saying that I don't like uh, Jewish people, <laughs> right? Like than, yeah. than, than, than them saying like they don't like evangelical Christians. So maybe the ranking mm -hmm. would be wrong as well, right? Uh, but I am surprised. So look at the balance, right? The atheists are still negative. We still be negative, right? Mm -hmm. And Muslims are negative. Mormons are negative. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Mormons are so negative. Why are Mormons mm -hmm. so hated? I mean, no, I'm not there's a another funny statistic about the Mormons that came out of this. But the most surprising thing about the study, you know what it is to me? 
It's not the fact that we're negative, atheists are negative, and our Muslims are negative. And I'm a little bit surprised that Mormons are so negative. Mm -hmm. But the most surprising thing to me is that evangelical Christians are positive. I am Actually, shocked by this. The study talked about, in general, how the views towards evangelical Christians have dropped substantially, the favorable views. There's actually like yeah. a great, there's a great increase in the amount of groups that have unfavorable views towards evangelical Christians. Yeah, I thought these people are hated now in the United States. Apparently, they're the still... stu No, the study actually is reflective of that, though, in general. No, like, the study not this particular is graph. change, but still positive. I understand the change, obviously, is change, but... No, because this changed. graph, what's important about this graph is that this includes people from each given group. So they have a different graph where they adjust it because if you if you survey someone and then you say they're they're likely to say it that they have a favorable opinion of their own group, right? So we, if you adjust to take members of that group out of the rating of that group, you get a more nuanced answer. And they have a um this one, a, you take your a scale for that. Is that it? Yeah. So look, if, if you separate the mainline Protestants from the evangelicals, suddenly the balance of opinion drops. Oh, yeah, this is more points. in line. Oh, okay. So now this is what I'm talking about. This is the minus 14 that I was like, this is what I imagined, right? So if you only focus on evangelical Christians, uh, if you take out the Protestants out, now this, they are more hated than the Mormons. This is more in line with what I was expecting. Okay, now it makes sense. Well, and no, it's not only you take the mainland Protestants out, but you also take out members of the that group itself. Oh. So this is among all respondents except the self-reported born-again Protestants. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And suddenly you get a better picture of how other people view the group. But yeah. I'm going to show something kind of funny. Um, one second. Oops. Because they also looked at, they asked the question of, if you know a member of that group, how do you feel towards that group? Right? And um, boom, 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 boom. So if you look at how people answer, so over on this side, on the left, it says, yes, I do know someone from that group. And then how they answer. Right. And mm -hmm. in general, you see that if someone knows a member of that group, they're more likely to be favorable towards that group. That's normal. This is like basic cognitive psychology. This is very normal. And then over here, you see on the right side, if you don't know someone from that group, how do they answer? And they're more likely to say an unfavorable answer. Right. <laughs> but what's so, <laughs> except for two things. If, um, what, for oh, the atheist, no. <laughs> if oh. someone says that they don't know an atheist, they're more likely to give unfavorable, right? If they say that they do know an atheist, and there's a record number of people that say that they do know an atheist now. Oh, to, no, to I see it. I we, see actually, it. we actually improve. But what's funny, or maybe I shouldn't say funny, is that if you know an evangelical Christian, you're more likely <laughs> to view them unfavorably. And same thing with Mormons. You're because oh, look at no. for evangelical Christian, you are oops, um, you are more likely to write them favorably, right? Because the the twenty oh, someone who doesn't know an evangelical Christian will say about nine percent chance they'll give them favorable if they know them. It's to twenty four, but the unfavorable jumps to thirty five from twenty nine, and with Mormons yeah. again larger favorability if you know one but also an increase in unfavorability if you know one just look at the no no just look at the nets right just look yeah. at the nets okay so minus 12 minus 12 the same so say evangelical still there's some improvement to sell minus 19 to mm -hmm. minus 11 if you meet somebody mm -hmm. atheist look at us we make such an improvement mm -hmm. minus 24 to minus 2 guys mm -hmm. if you meet us you make 
you if you get to know atheists your views on them change dramatically that means guys this the difference between these two graphs to me is a measurement of how nice that uh, people in the community are so you can see <laughs> yeah this is basically a measure of measureness of niceness so how much your views change when you actually meet a member of this community so for atheists to drop uh, the negativity from minus 24 to minus 2, that must mean we are very, very nice for us to have such a major impression on people once they meet us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Actually, the Jews have beaten us, haven't they? The, the, I mean, but this is what 20... they do on every single graph. They're like the only no, group the... that received a net positive in like every graph that no, people the same. Pre presented. It's the same. No, no, no. Jews are the same. Jews are as nice as us. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> because we go from <laughs> look at like the look at look at what I'm saying. Um exactly. Jews are exactly as nice as atheists, right? Because we have a plus 22 improvement once you meet us. Mm -hmm. And the Jews have exactly a plus 22 improvement when you meet them. <laughs> so we are we are as nice as Jewish people are. And look, Mormons must be dicks because <laughs> they have zero improvement. You, like, you, when people hate Mormons, they're like minus 12. And you meet them and like, just what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no improvement. It goes, it goes, uh, where'd you go? Oops, sorry. Oh, they took it away. Yeah. Go back, go back. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, so my God. is that the only group that had it was Mormons were the only group that had no improvements? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um okay. So interesting so, finding means it turns out we're not as unpopular as we might have thought. Yeah, we're still unpopular, but we we just have to make more people meet us. That's what we need to do there. True. Well, now 72% um, of Americans reported that they know at least one atheist, which is up from 69% the last time they did this survey. So we're growing. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.